Hello everyone, today we have another live stream review and as you can see we return to Plastic Kids so we in, in the previous video we were checking the book about aircraft now we are checking the aircraft kit so as you can see it comes from Armory Models Group and it copies BF109 E3 and also E4 and it is molded in 144 scale and interesting feature about it is that there are two kits in one box which is quite interesting that you can build i can guess that you can build both versions of this model here you can see that there are several markings inside and assembled model should have a length of 60 millimeters and wingspan of 68 millimeters there are 37 plastic parts and 10 p parts as it's written here so this is a final commercial sample let's say so you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review thank you for the first like by the way i can see that we are still getting the artifacts from this capture card so sorry for this and so first of all box size is not that huge here you can see comparison with my hand we have nice box art here also huge letters it's written that there are two kits inside and if we flip it over here we have one of the marking options i guess here on the side we can see all six marking options which are included into this kit and we are going to open it and take a look inside so just give me a second to open it here is what we have inside as you can see quite tight packaging but still all the parts should arrive to you intact i hope so no worries okay so we have assembly manual everything is wrapped into the assembly manual but we are interested in this first as you can see that's a plastic bag with plastic sprues and also small p thread and decal sheet i can see straight away that some parts are broken off as you can see so it's better to check your kit before the purchase actually they might be not broken because no they are they are broken from here so let's start with this clear sprue because i mean we are holding it in hand so that's why it's worth starting it immediately so let's zoom in here you can see those parts and those clear parts obviously will be used for the canopy and here as far as you can see we can also build aircraft with two piece canopy or with one piece canopy so it will depend on you but it's really interesting choice that we get two-piece canopy as well so you can open the cockpit on your model and you will get a better appearance as far as you can see masks are not included here so you have to be careful while um, masking all those parts and it will be quite a funny job to do because the size of the parts is really small next we have aircraft kit parts and as far as you can see we have even more than two kits but it's not that easy because we have only two wings so actually wings are limiting us in how many aircraft kits we will be able to build but maybe fuselage uh, parts can be used for some funny aftermarket what if project so here you can see wing parts obviously those are molded as one piece parts but still note that we have air intake parts as a separate elements and if we flip over these parts here you can see what we have from another side so we have here slight um, bump let's say inside so you have to fix it somehow but otherwise molding quality seems to be fine of course flaps and ailerons they're molded in so you won't be able to drop them on your model but it is kind of weird to expect this feature in 148 scale in my opinion okay next we have those three different plastic sprues we are going to start with this one but give me a second to understand what is actually different on the fuselage side why we get the three parts here so i'm trying to understand and i'm not that good at it so oh anyway we will check them all here you can see the first one and as you can see on the right fuselage half we have the tail segment together with rudder so obviously they will be used as a guiding elements we also have the separate top cooling panel so again we don't have uh, to be afraid of the seams in such visible area note that there is no cockpit at all so that's why i'm not sure why we have the and canopy out of several parts because you won't be able to show the cockpit and maybe you have to cut off this extra plastic because i can see 
we have the pilot seat here, we have the dashboard, we have also the cockpit floor, so I can guess we should cut off the extra plastic. And note that inside we don't have any guiding pins, only the tail segment will help you with proper alignment. So be ready for this, so that it won't be a huge surprise for you. Next we have another fuselage half. And so um, here it is written for those who are wondering. Actually all of them are VF109E. <laughs> so I guess the main difference is in the wing parts. If you know the BF109, just comment in the comment section below what was the main difference between E3 and E4. But here you can see we get basically the same parts design as we saw in the previous sprue. And here is another one with approximately the same set of parts. So that's why I was a bit confused um, in trying to understand what is different here. Next we have small um, plastic bag with P threads. So I'm going to open it and I'll show you only one because as far as you can see they're absolutely identical. But they're connected together so basically you will see both P threads. And that's quite funny to get the P out of the box in 144 scale kit because usually um, we don't do not get such bonuses as a standard feature. But here you can see that some parts will be actually replaced with metal, so be ready to work with them. And just to remind you about the size here, you can see comparison with my fingertip. Those are really tiny parts, so sharp tweezers are advised to be used with these elements. Next we have the decal sheet, so here you can see that we have all necessary symbols for six marking options, as you remember. We also have some decals for instrument panel. Um, I don't see any decals for the, actually here, for the instrument panel. Just give me a second, I'll check it if we have the seat belts. But obviously in 144 scale that would be funny to get the seat belts and they are not included here, but we have also to assemble the swastika out of those separate symbols because it is not supplied as a complete symbol. So be um, prepared, let's say. And next we have assembly manual. So here it is. It is printed in form of black and white brochure. Let's zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So we have parts map straight on the first page. There is no history note. And then on the next page we have assembly process, which should be quite easy. As you can see here, you start with cockpit, then you choose between propeller options, you assemble the wing, you assemble the external fuel tank or bomb, fuselage here, and then install wing into the fuselage. Then here we have the marking guide, which is printed in color. So here we have first four marking options and paint numbers are given in Humbro, Gunze, and also ROM numbers. So for sure you will be able to find the one suitable for your paint collection. Here we have, oh, <laughs> we have five more markings. Here are five more markings. So in total we already have 14 markings and that's pretty much all. But still 14 markings in one box, that's pretty much impressive. I mean, even in bigger kits you don't get such a wide choice of various camouflages, but here manufacturer decided to include um, as more as it was Possible. Then here why I'm a bit confused because I can see the choice between various canopy types. So we have early, late and also with armored windshield. Also here you can choose the option with open uh, or removable middle section. And next we have the picture of the finished model which is printed in black and white unfortunately. But at least we get the camouflage or marking guide printed in color. That's also cool because some of the manufacturers, even Tamiya, doesn't bother to include the color printed marking guide in their kits. So that's all for this video review. As I said before, this kit should be already available for purchase on official Armor Models website. And of course I would be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video and you would like to help us, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe button should be somewhere there. And there is also a small bell button which will notify you about any fresh videos from us. Thank you for the second like by the way. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Stay tuned. And I recommend to check the previous video streams as well which happened today. Thank you for watching, thank you for joining and bye.